different emotions in people. There's been research that shows that um, looking at a picture of someone physically experiencing cold is enough to drop the body temperature of a perceiver. This uh, process is referred to as temperature contagion. And um, also, thermal stimuli has also been demonstrated as having the ability to evoke emotions in people, both when presented on its own and also when embedded in physical artifacts. So uh, when we present thermal stimuli with pictures, and it gives us various other possibilities. There's been work conducted by Harvey, which shows that uh, you know, thermal stimuli presented with images increases feelings of violence. And um, <clears throat> there's also been work by Nakashige that shows that when you present a picture of cold food, such as a bowl of ice cream with cold temperature, a perceiver perceives that picture as being more delicious as against when there's no thermal augmentation. So, um, also, uh, thermal stimuli presentation technique is another component that also has the ability to you know, affect emotions. There's been work that shows that uh, when you present thermal stimuli at different times, while music is being played back, it, it has the ability to, you know, to control the amount of effect you perceive from music. Although, uh, in this case, uh, the study considered music, but we believe uh, the results that was obtained has applications as well for images. <coughs> So the motivation for this work, um, like I mentioned earlier, previous work has shown that um, thermal stimuli might have an effect, uh, might have an effect on the emotional perception of images, but very little is understood about the effect, about um, the effect particular thermal stimuli parameters has on particular um, images. So um, in this in this uh, work, uh, we designed uh, two user studies uh, to address this research gap. The first study investigated the effect uh, thermos, different thermal stimuli parameters have on images with known emotional properties, while the second user study investigated uh, the effect thermal stimuli presentation techniques has on uh, the emotional perception of images. So for the two user studies we conducted, um, we, see, uh, we used images from the International Affective Picture System uh, called the IAPS. This is an online picture library containing over a thousand pictures. and um, each of these images has the ratings of violence, arousal, and dominance. So what we did was we used the, uh, the ratings of violence and arousal to classify each of the images in this library into nine different emotional categories. You'll notice that uh, the section in the lower left-hand corner has no pictures. That's because when you have um, an image with low violence, it's most likely accompanied by high arousal, not low arousal. So altogether, we had um, eight categories that contained um, images. And uh, pictures presented with thermal stimuli in our user studies were rated on four affective scales altogether. The first three of them were, uh, vect uh, were uh, called the self-assessing mannequins. This was the same scale used by the IAPS to rate the images in their library. So the very first one talks of violence, basically asking participants um, how pleasant was the pictures they saw, ranges from high violence to low violence. The other one is uh, arousal, so ranging from exciting to, uh, say, a calm or a boring picture. And the third one is talking of dominance. So basically, that asks um, a participant to imagine themselves in the picture, how much control do they perceive they'll have if they were to be in that picture. And the third, um, the fourth scale we used uh, is uh, based on the circumflex model. This was adapted by Bailey and Arts. It's called the emotion wheel. So it's, uh, it's a cycling scale, and it has uh, 24 words arranged around its, its circumference. So what we did was we told participants to pick three words that best describes how the picture augmented with thermal stimuli made them feel. So I'm going to be referring to augmented images a lot in this uh, presentation. That, that's me talking of um, images uh, presented with thermal stimuli. So um, moving on to story one, um, that was uh, what uh, our setup look, looks like. Um, it, pictures were displayed on a laptop screen, and uh, thermal stimuli were, were so provided through that thermal stimuli source over there. So um, altogether, we had uh, nine thermal stimuli combinations. These combinations were made up of thermal, stim thermal stimuli parameters, which has been demonstrated as having as being both uh, perceivable and comfortable as well. So we used the uh, uh, thermal stimuli rates of change, amount of change, and uh, direction of change. So uh, the uh, combinations we had were 26, 29, 35, and 38 intensities, all changing at uh, one degree Celsius per second, and also the same intensity again, 26, 29, 35, and 38, all changing at a faster rate of change of uh, three degrees Celsius per second. All these intensities change from a neutral point of 32 degrees Celsius. And uh, there was also a condition as well where a picture was presented with a neutral uh, temperature. So altogether, in the first study, we had 72 augmented images. Um, so basically, nine 
the nine thermal similar combinations combined with a unique image from each of the eight emotion, uh, image emotion categories. So uh, pictures were displayed for six seconds, after which uh, the self-assessment -assess mannequin was displayed for 15 seconds and the emotion wheel for another 15 seconds. So and, um, in addition to these, we also conducted an interview at the end of the study just to collect additional subjective uh, feedback. So altogether, for this first study, we had 27 participants, uh, 19 males and 8 females, and uh, ages range from 19 to 43. So talking of the results, uh, we found that um, warm temperature significantly increased their feelings of arousal more than cold temperature. Um, for uh, thermal stimuli rates of change, uh, the fast rate of change of one degree Celsius uh, of, of three degrees Celsius per second and the slower one uh, were perceptually similar. So th there was no significant difference between the two of them. And also, uh, we found that uh, three degrees Celsius changes increased feelings of arousal uh, than when there was no change in temperature. And uh, for dominance, six, six degrees Celsius changes increased feelings of dominance more than when there was no change in temperatures. And um, six degrees changes also were evoked feelings of excitement. And, uh, and perceivers. Um, what we did additionally was um, we also compared uh, 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 the violence arousal and dominance ratings of augmented images with the original violence and arousal ratings of the pictures before thermal augmentation, just to help us understand the exact effect uh, thermal stimuli had on each of the emotion categories. We found very interesting results. In particular, we found that um, when low violence, low arousal pictures just as shown on the graph, are presented with thermal stimuli. Thermal stimuli increases feelings of violence and arousal in, uh, in low violence and arousal uh, image categories. But uh, when thermal stimuli is presented with high violence and high arousal pictures, it actually drops the arousal further down. And um, for dominance, thermal augmentation increases feelings of dominance across all the eight uh, image emotion categories. And also, um, participants felt alarmed when uh, viewing unaugmented uh, neutral arousal and low violence images, and uh, they felt sad after um, thermal augmentation. That's according to the emotion wheel ratings. So, um, for the qualitative inter for the interview we conducted after each uh, experiment, uh, analysis showed us that um, images augmented with thermal stimuli were considered to be significantly more enjoyable than when there was no thermal augmentation. And when participants were able to establish a connection between the picture being displayed and the thermal augmentation being, being provided, uh, it either increased feelings of, uh, of arousal or reduced feelings of arousal. And um, also, uh, when uh, pictures were presented with high intensity stimuli, so basically the 26 degree cooling changes and the 38 degree cooling changes, uh, it it's acted as a means of drawing the attention of participants to the picture being, uh, being displayed, and uh, that made them attach more meanings to the pictures being displayed. So uh, moving on very quickly to the second year study we conducted. Uh, the second study investigated uh, the effect um, thermal stimuli presentation techniques had on the emotional perception of images. So um, the thermal stimuli parameters used in study one, uh, considered to be effective in study one, were, were also used in study two. Uh, we used only one rate of change here because uh, we found uh, the two rates of changes used in study one were perceptually similar. So. Um, Altogether, we had four presentation techniques, label uh, techniques T1 to T4. Um, they were dif divided into three different, um, into different phases. We had the pre-image phase, which was uh, you know, three seconds before an image appeared on screen. We had the image display phase, which was when the image displayed on screen. And we had the post-image phase, which was three seconds after an image disappeared from screen. So um, this is a, di a diagrammatic representation. In uh, technique T1, thermal augmentation was provided in the first three seconds before an image appeared on screen. In technique T2, thermal augmentation was provided in the first three seconds of image display. In T3, augmentation was provided in the last three seconds of image display. And in T4, augmentation was provided three seconds after the image had displayed on screen. So um, altogether, we had a total of 17 presentation techniques, uh, four combinations from each of the phases. And uh, there was a condition as well in which neutral stimuli was provided. All true. So uh, that gave us a total of 136 augmented images provided to each participant, and um, 32 from each uh, from each uh, techniques, and uh, eight for the neutral condition. So again, evaluation followed the same procedure as what we used in uh, in study one. Uh, participants were asked to, pro to provide violence, arousal, and dominance rating for the augmented images uh, uh, displayed, and um, also there was an interview conducted afterwards. Um, we had 21 participants uh, recruited for this study, 13 males, and um, ages range from 18 to 44. 
Uh, again, just like we did in, um, in the first study, we, com we compared the uh, violence arousal and dominance ratings of augmented images with the violence arousal and dominance ratings of non-augmented ones. And we saw that the effect re recorded in, in this uh, study was also similar to what we found in study one. Excuse me. So um, again, uh, for low violence and low arousal images, thermal augmentation increased feelings of arousal and dominance. And for high violence and high arousal images, thermal augmentation reduced feelings of arousal and dominance. And um, thermal augmentation also increased feelings of, uh, of, uh, of, of dominance across all the eight image uh, emotion categories as well. Um, analysis of the emotion wheel uh, showed us that uh, participants felt tired when viewing unaugmented low arousal and neutral valence images. Uh, they felt calm after um, augmentation. They felt relaxed uh, when viewing unaugmented low arousal and high valence images and calm after augmentation. And finally, uh, they felt alarmed when viewing uh, neutral arousal and low valence images and um, they felt sad after augmentation. So um, further analysis of our results showed that uh, the four uh, further qu uh, quantitative analysis showed that uh, the four presentation techniques we had, that's techniques T1 and to T4, did not significantly differ from each other. But qualitative, quantitative analysis told us uh, something different entirely. So basically, um, for the pre-image stimuli, uh, when a warm temperature was displayed before an image came up on screen, participants associated that as, uh, as meaning a low violence picture was going to be displayed next. And when a cool uh, temperature was presented before an image appeared on screen, participants had stated that as meaning uh, a high violence picture would be displayed next. And when a thermal stimuli was presented together with, um, with uh, a picture, it, uh, it enhanced the inherent emotion an image was able to ev um, evoke in people. So say uh, a low violence picture was uh, presented and thermal augmentation was also presented, it, it, made, it further reduced violence in such pictures. And um, post-image stimuli had no effect as well. And um, so just key findings uh, from our two years studies, we found that um, thermal stimuli uh, amount of change and direction of change were very, very effective in, um, in modulating effects in, uh, in images. And we also found that um, thermal stimuli presentation technique had an influence on how images are perceived as well. So basically we can either create anticipation for images to be dis displayed or we can enhance or reduce effect in the images uh, displayed. So future work, we thought we've gone ahead to um, conduct two other studies after this, uh, just to confirm if uh, these uh, properties, record, this result um, held, uh, held true when images are presented on mobile devices, so a mobile phone and a tablet and, and things like that. So that's been submitted already uh, for publication. And uh, we're also currently working on how we can harness the effect, uh, effective attributes of thermal stimuli found in this study for use as well in photo sharing uh, social media apps. So thank you very much. That's it.